And just gonna do 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 this court's over here. Oh god, okay, here's Overwatch though. Here's Overwatch. The worldwide phenomenon! God, I just I I rush, but we're good. How is this gonna run on Switch? Okay, I tweeted him live. I'm just making sure I didn't forget anything. I'm glad it's on there. We kind of knew it, though. Uh, alert box. Let's try this real quick. Haha, -ha, we're live. Okay, everything's working! Uh, how's the sound here? Sound comparatively to me. Turn it up just a bit. Okay. I really should have got on earlier so people could like hang out beforehand. Minasan. Hello everyone. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Shinya Takahashi. Alright. Let's fucking do it. That was, of course. The latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please look forward to it. Okay, let's get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please take a look. He just has it in Super Smash Brothers. You gotta see these floors of the hotel for yourself. Wow, okay. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel, where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Case in point? Tomb Suites. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel? It's gonna make mine Super Smash mummies, Brothers. Harsh sands, and booby I've never played Luigi's Mansion, the so... Floors, well, there's a disco floor, a pirate-themed restaurant... You get the idea. May not be okay. the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you... Well, check out. <laughs> Speaking of check amenities, out. Step right up to this all-new attraction, Screen Park. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. With only one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can battle it <laughs> Sounds out. horrible. See which team can defeat the most ghosts. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergeist Jesus. double zero. Imagine the most handheld mode hey, even the on a table, that tiny screen with Luigi's eight people. Three opens its doors on October you wouldn't be able to tell shit. For Halloween. Get a load of this new free to start Kirby game. The free to start? Kirby, 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 and Kirby are in for some wicked boss fights. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Take up quests in town, and collectively, you and your team will pick four jobs. That's right. Get your weapons, get your gear, and get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. Is this there Kirby the quests. MMO? <laughs> so, Get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. You can play alone, together on one system, team up via local wireless. Are there like actual levels too online. or just only boss fights? They're gonna monetize It'll the shit out of us. They said free to start. The world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches later today. Dude. And remember, it's free to start. It, later's today? It's free to start? What's that mean? Kirby though? Long -awaited, recently oh my god. RPG is getting a remake. Okay. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game uh -huh. in the trilogy, this... Trials yeah. of Mana. Oh. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. Yikes! Uh the ones you choose will determine that little lolly stories you'll follow through this reimagined world Has... now you remember what will happen to dear jessica if i die ah she's a bitch there i can already tell be forgotten. as each character advances they'll have the opportunity to switch their class allowing them to learn stronger special moves this spells. is just better kirby Step gameplay light, or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and abilities that's not dark it's not even black it's like green have full range of movement, including jump you all know we're gonna be weaving it up with your fucking dark side, edge lord. Once again, 
the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Find out what's in store for the beloved world of Trials of Mana on April 20th. I'm down. I'm down. That little lolly's like face was like what happened to the crew of this colon ship? three, but like the middle was like up. The Oberdin vanished at sea in 1803, only to wash up four years later in Falmouth, England, with no sign of survivors. The fate of the crew remains unknown. As an insurance investigator for the East India Company, you must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. This is going really quick. Rely heavily on one is this all in black and device. white? Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. You bastard may take exactly what I give you! Explore the ship. No, it's in all black and white. It looks really hard to look at, honestly. Look at this! Fucking... Without you, Am I in HD? I'm in HD, bro! What brought the Oberdin to such an end? Does the... Little by little... Tease apart the misfortunes of the Add ship some color to solve the mystery. This just looks like way too much on the same screen for only two colors. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in fall 2019. Nope. Hard pass. Hard pass. There's a small town out there with a big secret. It's a village of only women. They just don't never leave town. Okay. That is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. But One you day, leave town. There suddenly appeared a giant monster. To defend the townspeople, one boy named Axe will stand up to face it. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. <laughs> Strategy is everything. <laughs> you gotta you use your brain and teach you ABCs in one, two, During three. Battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Little Town Hero will make a stand on Nintendo Switch October 16th. Not feeling it. You can pre-purchase and preload the game later today. That's interesting. Fall is coming to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Okay. We can finally confirm the release date of Challenger Pack 3. When? Banjo and Kazooie. Soon. Banjo and Kazooie. October? Banjo and Kazooie. Uh, Banjo and Kazooie. Okay. The release date is today. Oh, oh shit. We'll broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie. Wait. Featuring the game's director, Wait. Masahiro Sakurai. It's what? That's so soon. Hero just came out. You're watching right now. To tide yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie, please check it out. But first, <laughs> thank you for the resub. Wait. Uh. Oh, everyone, the servers are gonna be down probably. Okay. Oh, the Neo Geo. Okay. Today? Volume on video? I'll turn it up. Actually, yeah, I'll turn it up. Okay. Should be better. You're invited? Wait. Hold on, I'm not... Wait. No, don't tell me that was right, man. No. <laughs> Mama, ha! Oh. Okay. Okay. All the people here who like wanted any one of these people are probably so disappointed every single time they miss. A 
I cover! November! Yay, we're getting this guy I've never even heard about. So, yay! Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. Yay! That means we've okay. four of the five fighters included in the Just fighter. Give class. me Zero Blade, you Can bitch! There really oh be my only god. One left? Zero Blade. Zero Blade! More We're DLC. Happy to confirm okay, the development put them out more quicker. DLC fighters just like for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Just like fucking Outside banjo the five to hear. fighters it. included in the fighters pass. We can confirm that other new fighters are in development. The battle isn't over yet. Well, that's good. So it's not just going to be only these five. So we can what at do you least think? get. Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we can at we'll least more get with you more hope that Xenoblade for now, comes. Let's continue with some more Nintendo who Switch headlines. There's a fuck about Terry, dude. Who is even is Terry? It's about I've never time to wake the windfish in the Legend of Zelda Link's I Awakening. I mean, like banjos today, Which and that's the next insane. Big adventure on Nintendo but... Switch is fast approaching. You'll meet some strangely endearing islanders. Face a series of puzzles. I wasn't tasks. expecting anything smashed, to and be honest, but we got it. Familiar and banjos today. Whatever happens, Today. help Link escape Kohol's Island. But who the fuck is Island Terry? Before its Where is Xenoblade? With the all-new Chamber Dungeon, you can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. Zelda Dungeon Maker win. Add in plus effects that alter chambers, and save Chamber Dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. That way, your friends can play them. Be ready. The Legend of Zelda. Okay, Link's so you can't actually share it online you know it unless you buy an amiibo. 20. I see. The new Link amiibo figure That's will be available That's that smart. same day. You Yo. know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now join his adventure. Dragon Quest XI-S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition Jesus. is exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose Turning between down, HD but... and 2D graphics. Dude, Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds. Terry, hold on. And experience new Who character fuck? focused stories. Who is the day Terry the launches, from? Free downloadable content Fatal can be found in the Champions Fury? Pack. Fury is that what his name consumable was? Consumable items and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members. An is RPG giant draws near. SNK and is the main character of the Fatal Fury series. Dragon Quest XI S. Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition journeys onto Nintendo Switch September 27th. Okay. So Until SNK. Then, you can prepare for your adventure with the free demo. I mean, on we Nintendo already Wii. have Ryu and Ken, and they suck. Like maybe he will be cooler, but like if they do the same, have to face. Decide that they're like always will face the kick. That that's kind of bullshit. Looking for more Fire Emblem goodness? Then say hello Wait. to Tokyo. What? The what? worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Atlas games have crossed paths, and the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. The story takes place in <laughs> modern day Tokyo, where creative energy is so abundant it's materialized into something called Performa which attracts wicked mirages who suck it out of people. Okay. You'll face off against this threat as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it Super in the Super anime. Business. Fire Emblem characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another dimension. They don't even... Together, you'll wage deep turn-based battles. The only thing that... Blending the combat of the Fire Emblem... Looks like Megami Prom is Tensei the series. fucking name. And in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Be sure to check out the other new features, from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Hey, is that Tiki? No, it's not Tiki. Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore releases on January 17th. No, dude. You can pre the game later so fucking today. shit. Oh my god. Okay, that is disappointing. Almost as disappointing as Terry it seems. being... Boston, Did Ken and Ryu, they're going to do the same and you have to face it because that's how the fighting games are. And that, agent Aaliyah shit, Davis it's so shit. An investigation so shit, into an oh my god. Serial killer shit. Case. She also opens a door to the unknown. A door that also so takes mad. us back to New Orleans 14 years oh. ago. 
Oh, that sucked. Terry? Our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. Does he know Blade Chronicles too? past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. Please. What lies at the end? Will it be true? Even Byleth from mass? Fire Emblem, like the new one? Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise. Fire Emblem 3 Houses, Byleth, or Edelgard or some shit, or... And now for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop as Deadly Premonition Origins later or... today. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, give me Mithra, like, something, dude? Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Check it Harry. out. Harry! Oh, I gotta get off this shit, I have to, like... I'm so tilted. I'm so tilted. I'm so tilted. I'm so fucking tilted. I mean, Banjo's today, that's cool, which, I mean, I feel like it was just last month. We got... I think it was just last month we got hero, right? Like, he hasn't been out for that long. I like that. I mean, that's bad, but I like that. Like, heroes coming out, like, or new people coming out super quick, but I like it. Like, I'm all down for having more fighters, like, whenever, you know? I'm glad- oh, you can s steam cross save. Well, that's nice. Um, that's actually interesting for the Switch. I still need to play it. I put like maybe 10 minutes of time into that game and I've never. I, I bought it! <laughs> Shit. Time to rebuy Divinity. <laughs> Portable Divinity we can put on the for PC. A message from Bethesda. Hey Nintendo fans, Pete Hines from Bethesda. On Did you like of the new dude? Software, Just kidding, I'm it's excited not coming to out. announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch. Doom Guy for Smash. I'm sure many of you I'll have fond myself. memories of spending countless hours playing myself. your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first person shooter franchises ever. Just in case you didn't and know. To celebrate, we're re releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. Relive your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Or, if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. Are you excited? Because I'm about to diss it. <laughs> okay. Are you excited? Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd, this year. Oh my fucking god. Why is this suddenly not, like, what happened to my quality? Sorry, it looked even worse than it normally would. Introducing a brand new IP from developer Hyrule Holy Studios, shit, you want it? Rogue I just... Company. To most of the world, Rogue Company is a rumor... <laughs> Here, the only game we'll put on your system is a 64 a remake, but we'll one of these charge 40 for it, probably. We'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization, Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety Come of objective-based games. Come to Nintendo Switch games. for everything is a remaster. Whether you wield yeah. guns, gadgets, or melee Fucking weapons, Terry. your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary. This is cool. Will be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Doom 64. If it's a Switch it exclusive, that's cool, I guess. Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Show me. We have more information to share that will shed new light on this next The Pokemon starter evolutions. Adventure. Please take a look. Please don't be fighting fire. Pokemon Sword it's and Pokemon Shield fire. take place in the Gala region, a scenic land where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among them, You'll encounter new woo Pokemon woo. and meet new people woo throughout woo. your adventure. Okay. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. Can we cover the starter evolutions, please? First, customizing your look. Wow, that's Once again, so the cool. Latest entry in the series I mean, lets you pick your outfit. This time, did it in the other one I was just hoping. tops and bottoms, <laughs> but a wide variety, You're including top outerwear bottom. and gloves. I mean, I, I guess that's cool. Plus, She's a thought you can in that change last. your hairstyle. Bruh. Or put on a little makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a champion. Makeup? Than and you're like, yeah, let's change my skills. eye color, Doc. You've it's cool. The part too, don't I you mean, that, that's actually kind of cool. Second, Pokemon Camp. During your journey through the Gala region, 
You can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. <laughs> While you're there, happy. you can play with your Pokemon. And as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon Steal and theirs. hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Uh, okay, this is kind of cute. Third, curry on rice. Oh boy. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular you in the You can't take region. three. Curry on rice. And make How it literally from two. Out, and what type it is ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. Under shit you can do in Pokemon Camp. Not to mention the heart you put into it. Aww. Oh. There are more than 100 types. And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry deck. So instead of feeding your Pokemon art of curry. Poffins, huh? What's that you Pokemon feed them doing here? Curry. And fourth, we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. Wow, we didn't Pultigeist. know that. Normally, okay. it makes a home for itself by hiding among There's new Pokemon in hotels and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost-type Pokémon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. Next, another new Pokémon called Cramory. Starters, please. <laughs> this He's flying funny. and water-type Pokémon has one huge appetite. What's he it will What's he evolve into? anything it can fit in its mouth. Like Haggis on rice. When it uses Haggis. surf or dive during battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. If it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramer's exclusive new ability, Gulp Missile. <laughs> Gulp Missile, dude. What is that? And that's all we have to share with you today. Pokemon Could you at least tell me the launch on Nintendo Switch starting November evolution? 15. It was fucking... Did you see the thing with the top well, hat? It's Team Rocket's that? bitch. It's There's like still two more months until the game releases. Please look I can't forward think of to the day you can start your new top hat? in the Galar region. There was like a Pikachu okay. looking so, thing with like each been about side. A year is... Since we began offering Nintendo okay. Switch online you have sword memberships. pre-ordered for me? No, we don't. With Nintendo Switch online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. <laughs> and now we're looking to add in an additional library of games. It's called Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online. With this, okay. you can play a variety of classic oh, Super NES games. Oh, fuck yeah! Oh, Nintendo shit! Switch. Okay, I'm so excited to play Yoshi. Today. Today, bitch. There are some Yoshi in the Kirby like Golf and just Kirby FX, Nightmare in Dreamland. Donkey system Kong Countries? Please, please, or team up in local please, don't. By passing a I'll buy it. Controller to a friend, Just give it to or me. Even play together online. The fuck is that? Oh, and the rewind function will be available from launch. Oh, that's lame. Here are the first games Kirby Streamlands. Okay, okay. Yoshi, okay, I, yes. Super Mario World. All that's 20 it. of the games that's you it, see bro. on screen will launch tomorrow. Of course, oh, we will shit. eventually add more to the lineup. Give me this the Donkey Kong Country. Nintendo Switch Portable Donkey members. Kong Country so too. So please enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, you noticed this, did you? <laughs> to recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online exclusive controller as a special offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. I want it. This Super NES-style controller will be available for purchase exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. Visit the Nintendo website for the latest information on its release. Wouldn't it be nice to play those games again with one of these controllers? Well, yeah, I would. Let's move on to some Thanks, more Daddy Nintendo. Nintendo. Switch headlines. Fuck. Tetris, Dude, you know Tetris 99. Can you survive this? Nintendo Switch Online members, the large scale puzzle battle oh, game. They're bringing Tetris it back, 99 man. Is getting a free update. Tetris 99 Invictus is out. here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. 
Can you survive against the best of the best? Wow! Well, good luck. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire <laughs> tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Oh, you get themes, that's actually sick. I don't know what else you can do for Tetris, but a vast array of new player items now there's too. like Beyond that, the second wave of paid DLC is like... here as well. Hey, two DLC. player share battle mode. Pass a joypad controller to a friend for a two player game against each other and the CPU. And get together with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch systems in local arena mode. Okay. The version 2.0 update for Tetris Battle Royale. Available tomorrow. Like Master Rank Tetris. Including the game, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12 month individual membership. That's kind of cool. Available a physical copy? Did you guys know that Terry's in fucking Smash? I'm gonna Tokyo. kill myself. This one Mario to bring that back Sonic up. at the Olympic Games has become a tradition of its own. This time, it there are more than 20 events, including the 100. Wow, meter, only 20. Karate, football, skateboarding, rugby sevens, sport climbing, badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came from. <laughs> the only game Sonic's even Check slightly out relevant to. Retro style events. Each Mario one rocking one. some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo Sword 1964. Art. <laughs> Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. Sword will Art for the Nintendo gold, Online. 5th. Don't forget to buy your Nintendo Switch online subscription. The next Damon X Machina demo will be here sooner than you think. Ahead of the full game's release next week, the free demo version, Damon X Machina Prologue Demo, will be available for download later today. I had a fear. In this prologue, Monster Hunter, you'll man your mech through the beginning of the Hunter. game. And all of your progress can carry over to the full game. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players, and we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So, gather your okay. friends, and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Mechu, hi, by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. Hi, what hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Oh shit! Damon X Machina will be ready a for demon. action September 13th. Edge Lord, I'm gonna name my Machina Sephiroth. The Star Wars classic so fun, it's back for more. Okay. Kyle Katarn, agent of the New Republic, is our only hope to stop a rogue Jedi. Get your lightsaber at the ready, blaster in hand. It's okay. Nintendo Switch, home of, the full power of the all the remakes, dude. Courtesy all the remakes. The full single-player experience of Star Wars. Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast is coming to Nintendo Switch September 24th. <laughs> Nintendo Switch. We've got new details. Only remasters. Coming games. Here's where my journey begins. You are Geralt of Rivia, mercenary monster slayer. Do you Your see like the pixels? Tracking in this? down a living weapon known as the I'm Child so of Prophecy. Okay. You'll have a whole world to explore, at home and on the go. When the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloads Fuck new games, keep the remasters. Are along you can only the play the remasters so much before you want Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Then transform into the ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action packed games for one. Black great Flag's coming to the Switch all too? DLC and new features like touch control, okay. motion aiming, cutting, Another remaster in a two pack. Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier Yo, in the Dauntless. online free-to-play action RPG, Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go, or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, can I your skills, carry my character over? And customize hundreds of gear options, and team up with other Slayers to take down boss-sized behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch, and there's plenty more on the horizon. Okay, okay. I'm I'm okay with this. Open your calendar. More games are on the way.
Okay. <clears throat> farming simulator. Whoa! Remaster it. I want a farming simulator 15 remaster. Camera in the way. What's the title of the game? Chill with me. Holy shit. Where's webcam left? There you go. Vampire! I'm glad I did all that work to do this so I could just easily... You know, I really want to play Vampire, actually. How's everything going? Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Next up, we revealed many the next about the game back December June, release so of video Super Smash Brothers character edition is Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And Xenoblade Chronicles Remastered re on the Switch from the Wii. Xenoblade Chronicles Remaster, Xenoblade Chronicles X Remaster, Xenoblade getaway package. Mithra for a fucking Smash. That's a remaster of five, dude. Give me awaits. Xenoblade again on the Switch. For you and the other folks participating in the getaway package, Please. <laughs> the time's come to get into That's the what we want. of That's deserted what we... island life. Oh my god. Please, it's so good. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. Comfort and safety, except for you gotta pay me, for bitch. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some wow. materials. <laughs> like branches. And stones. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. Better pay us for your time. Nicely done. That's just you a toolbox, it's not an axe. Craft to acquire new materials, like this. <laughs> you can keep the same face those, when you murder your you neighbor. Can craft more items. Don't even blink. <laughs> Feel free to place <laughs> furniture inside or outside. You can fine-tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style. And you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. <laughs> I'm lonely. Better go Let's murder innocent back civilians. To resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as part of our island cleanup plan. In addition to the usual in-game currency, Bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities miles on the island, Miles makes me think you can so fly. So be sure to take advantage of this Not... program. There are many okay. ways to experience <laughs> the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing. I thought that bitch, like, threw it over on the other side. <laughs> Tend to flowers and pick them to make a garland. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. Fabulous. A vaulting Fabulous. pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Plant it somewhere else to change things up in that corner of the island. How you just plant a full-grown you hold that bitch with in your backpack? Weather. It's a full there will tree. Be sunshine, cloudy days, a full tree, dude. Rainfall 
and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter that bitch. different oh, creatures I thought she was to catch the too. Fishing, I'm in. I'm the best fisher in all Sociable of Stardew types Valley. Who live together on Don't the same me. island can play simultaneously. Up to four players at a time on one system. On one system? You enjoy living together and working together in the same space. I mean, you have to share one camera, but... or internet connection, you can travel online, to another though. player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo huh? with everyone okay. and make it a lasting memory? My mom can't play this. Yeah. How's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here today Are you is still just the beginning. Lonely? There's so much more waiting to be discovered. Buy a companion so and activities, talk. Resident island to services. Encounter, and more calling to you from the island. It's fine. We can't wait. <laughs> Everyone for you has to those days. It's the Nook Inc. deserted island getaway package. <laughs> Would you pay us to do our work? All right, and it's still, I've never played uh, an Animal Crossing, so I'll probably get that. So, how'd it look? There's still a bit more time until the game launches, so please stay tuned. All right, the Cena next played? game will be our last announcement of the day. Bitch. Please give it a look. Xenoblade play Chronicles Remastered. Metro for Smash. Wait, okay. I freak... Oh, 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 shit, wait, wait, is my, am I right? Oh my god, am I right? Oh my god, is that, oh, fuck, dude, oh my god, oh, Xenoblade, okay, Shulk, dude, do you wish to change it? Oh, huh? oh my god, he looks so pretty, his face is in like a, the future, a trapezoid, with, crap, <laughs> Oh my god! Yes! I was right! Oh my god, it looks so good! Oh! Shit, dude! Okay, I was- Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Look! Look at it! it did look oh god, it, bitch! I just played this and it was all blurry! Twenty twenty. Fuck, dude! Oh my god! Monolith Soft. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chronicles, he's getting them a little. Which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade oh, Chronicles Definitive oh Edition. <laughs> it happened! The game oh my god! It's released in 2020. When, bitch? Please look January? For more announcements in the future. That's December of Thank you for 2019? Watching. Just put it this year. I don't want to wait. It better be fucking January then. Care. <laughs> I'm so happy. Director of the Super Smash Brothers. Oh! In our last oh, they didn't even like show the monolith Hero. soft. Like, they're just like, Today, yo, I'm in our last all, game. And then I saw it and I was like, wait, is that, is that? Oh my god! Oh my you god! Feel like some time has passed since our hero showcase, but we're actually recording this only two days after that broadcast. We sure are busy, even if I say so myself. Now that today's Nintendo Direct is over, please let me take just a little bit more of your time. You may remember, in the Hero Showcase, I was playing by myself, using two controllers, like this. With Hero, if you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shield. So, in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks would connect. Today I have my controllers set up side by side, but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. Try doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. So, even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this now. 
This time around, I'll also be doing my best to control two fighters at once, kind of like Banjo and Kazooie, two characters acting as one. Alright, let's get started. So, what is Banjo Kazooie? Well, in terms of genre, it's so they recorded this two days after. And it was first this is a pretty early build of it, because it's been like a month, I guess. The character Banjo like made, made his first appearance a year earlier. I say, I've already started working on Terry. Terry. It's hard for me to be after upset that, right now. Banjo like, I really want to be upset about Terry and, then, and not like a Xenoblade Chronicles rep. Or titles were then literally anyone else Advance, but Terry. Um, they never came to not literally anyone else, but most. And then there's else. Banjo Kazooie, nuts and bolts. But like, I'm just so happy. Like, I'm, just, I'm, I'm upset, but I'm happy. As some of you may know, the Banjo Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. Mm -hmm. Technically, they're a rival platform holder. Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Bros. series. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. I'm just so... so oh, he looks so good! Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. <laughs> I know this is a Nintendo broadcast, but please, give the game a try on Xbox. <laughs> Now let's talk about the music. The Banjo Kazooie series music has a country feel to it. If we I'm were just trying to like type Shulk Xenoblade Chronicles so you guys can see how bad it looked back in the day, and I still love it. So we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. We'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. Up here. Yes, here. You'll see the track names. Okay. Let's take a look at the fighter. Like... Alright, I shouldn't be covering that. So but like, look, Banjo, I can't even get like a good face of his Ultimate. picture. His There's face! Kazooie. Picture of his face! I'm so We're fucking We're using trapped. a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the production version. It was very pointy We've and very lots blurry. of actions Banjo and Kazooie used in their original game. For example, the talent trot here is used for their dash. And their jumps are based on abilities this like flat so flip and feathery flap. Their neutral attack is called claw swipes. Okay. This ability looks similar to <coughs> oh this in the original game, but we built upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. Their flurry attack is a rat attack. It's not out yet, Thomas. Their dash attack is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. This move is a pretty useful one. Their down tilt is beat bar. I wasn't even looking at the angles, but down tilt looks their really hard. Is build drill. It looks a bit different from their original games, but there has to be a big kill move the because there's a lot of lag. Consecutive attack. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazui. Harisen is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. I think Regal is the type of bird Kazui is, so this basically means bird bash, which is pretty <laughs> accurate. Their neutral air is Wing Whack. Their back air is an air rat a tat rat, which hits three times. This joint, Their down three air hits. is Beak Buster, which they use to downstab as they drop. I'm not a big fan of those kind of like force, because if you do it off stage, you're dead, generally. As you can Unless see, like even trade. their regular attacks are based on attacks from the original. Generally, like a lot of lag. The down and up taunts were something that existed in the Banjo Kazooie series too. What's the, the side up taunt is based on an animation from Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, where Banjo sometimes stretches. Now I'd like to go over their special moves. First, their neutral special is egg firing. It's pretty much their go-to move. The eggs bounce, and by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the attack you see here, Ringo Blaster. Looks <laughs> very Blaster annoying. is based on this part in Banjo Tui where the screen mimics an FPS. My friend had this game and I remember like just. You can this hold part. the button for auto fire, but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually decrease, so you'll need to be careful. 
You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield buttons. Next, their side special is Wonder Wing. As in the original game, it's an invincible charging attack. That's very good. Like, literally goes through anything. It's fairly powerful and will basically win against any other attack. However, you can see some feathers above Banjo's head. There are five of them in total, and I just use up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again until you lose a stock. Okay. So it's a very powerful move, but... Wing only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you the Interesting that there's no way to regenerate it. Head. You can get, like, a kill or something? Option. And since it's Five might be a little too limiting, but it's also it really strong, because it's just advantages. But it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to yeah. attack. You have In to addition, be careful how you, you use grab it. During this move. Hmm. At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure it's to very strong, against this attack, but its weaknesses might make it so only it's five uses or a little too many without like a little too less without a way to Next is their up special, get more. Shock Spring Jump. This move utilizes the Shock Spring Pad from their original game. There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your opponents with the Shock Spring okay, Pad. Okay, it's Sonic. It can be used to recover and it's throwable too. <laughs> Also, it's pretty different from other up specials that carry the fighter upward in that you're still able to jump in mid-air after using it, meaning you okay. can jump twice in a row. So oh, if you're falling, so you still you keep your like normal this. jump? Jump, and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. So, you don't just have just the mid-air jump, but <clears throat> another... By the way, the height of a shock spring jump will change depending on how long you hold the button down. Note the slight difference in height. Next, for their down special, Rear Egg, they'll fire a grenade out of his backpack. Oh, Jesus. It's a grenade egg. This is a slightly odd projectile in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. Did being able to shoot up B and then still react and do multiple its jumps? bouncy trajectory can be unpredictable. That's such a weird After looking. a certain time, it will uh. explode. I think it will be a useful tool It'll for definitely be opponents useful. in check. It's treated like an item, so you can pick it up and throw it. Kinda like Snake, but not as much. You can't, like, shield it. Maybe there'll be some attack. tech where you can, like, instantly shield and grab it or something. But its detonation sequence is relatively short. So both you and your opponents will need to make sure you throw it quickly, or it will explode while you're still holding it. I guess there are a lot of different Air uses, use actually, might be really good. It doesn't have too much lag, you can like do it off and like cover like a, if you were going high, hit it like from the ledge. Lastly, their final smash is the Mighty Ginginator. The Mighty Ginginator is what delivered the final blow to Gruntilda in their original game. I really think the side, this move especially only having five, flight. I don't know how that's going to be. It's strong, but has you can get grabbed out of it. This stage is called Kurukuriyama in Japan, but in the west it's called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, it's a mountain yeah, my where the fucked up. Is After all that yelling, I can't believe it's seen a blue. Oh, that remake is A rotation happening. icon will appear. Like, I have to keep, like, muting my mic to, like, clear my throat. This is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Brothers series. It's truly unique. Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also Okay, so you can already say band, unless it doesn't rotate. Any of these platforms? platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge I don't know, man. That platform, like right by the, you can just sit there and do whatever, and if they challenge you, it's almost like a walk off. It's probably banned. Now Unfortunately. that we've covered both the fighter and the stage, banned. Let's go ahead and jump into some actual battles. <clears throat> this time, I'll be taking on not just one, but two fighters in a team battle. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Hang on, so there are actually two on my side too? So I should be fine, right? <laughs> yeah. Probably not. In fact, definitely not. Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty Did you see bad that? if I just stand around. This grenade so when I'll he threw it point blank didn't hurt him. 
So unless he spaced that perfectly. Your eggs, which can be fired forward or backward, are useful at times like this. And thanks to Kazooie, Banjo and so Kazooie can use moves with a relatively wide range of attack. We'll make good use of these. I think as we five might on. be almost too little for all the weaknesses once you actually like get good at exploiting it. But if they no, use it we'll smartly, maybe not. <laughs> hmm. He's. I think we're doing pretty good so far. I have two opponents, and since items are on, they'll have twice as many opportunities to pick up items. And since Paying the items? final smash meter is on, the opponent can use it twice. He's just like, yeah, but I'm kind of a G, so it doesn't I'm fucking matter. I'm disadvantage, but I'm going to try my hardest. I can use Wonder Wing two more times. I want to see that down B again, because like he threw it point Oops, blank, I, I swear. I guess I should be explaining all their moves, huh? Auto fire, auto fire. Ooh, <laughs> auto fire, ouch. auto fire. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, their final smash meter's filled up. You can have that. Now. You gonna use it, bruh? Nice. That goes really high up. That's really fast. Now that there's one less opponent, this should be easy. I thought it didn't kill. This is very disorienting. I do want to use honestly. a final smash, but it might be a bit tough. Oh, that's good. That's very disorienting and like the smash. but like left and right, but like your Z axis it feels like it's like I moving. Forced him up, so I win. It throws me off. It's definitely banned. Um Banjo picks up a jiggy from the original game. Yeah, he didn't even die once. What a <laughs> what a what a God man. That's no. a wrap. I think he threw that I'd grenade like point blank and the explosion didn't the hit him. First, we like, have in that case, <laughs> in Banjo -Kazooie, that's this really good. Sealed underground by it's a grenade old. that can't hurt Snake, kind anyway, of. Anyway, she's very cruel, and you can hear all about her from her sister, Rentilla. it blows up in Rentilla. your hand. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. Poor soul. His fate is sealed <laughs> in the beginning of Banjo 2. -E. He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. He has really big Next is nice. Mumbo Jumbo. This, is this poor soul had all of his Mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. What a dick. He helps you out in many that ways. Bitch. How throughout dare the game. she steal his Mumbo? And we have Tootie. Can you spot her? She's running at the bottom. <laughs> That's kind of cool. She's tiny and you can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the detail. Even at her size. You could probably make an action game just using this. She's raising havoc on the vegetable patch for some reason. And after that, she strikes an enigmatic taunt. Now she's heading back home. She looks all calm when you look at her this way, but this soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd understand how miserable she really is if you saw the game over scene in Banjo Kazooie. Jesus. Oh, okay. Maybe she's not going home? And here come the Jinjos. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty Jinjinator appeared. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. So you could say they're also sad souls. And now we see something floating around. Why's everything gotta be sad? These are our basic enemy characters called Buzz Bombs. But since they can float around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is what they look like close up. It's basically a dragonfly, right? We put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard-to-see areas. So I hope you enjoy it. Maybe almost too much effort. Should've been putting that effort into making Next, let's talk music. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 character. I'm just as saying. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking country style music and adapting it for use in battle. We're including a total of 10 music tracks. Of these, seven are entirely new arrangements. Okay. I've always thought that getting all this for $5.99 is a fantastic deal. So, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> it is. <laughs> the music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope. He created the original Banjo-Kazooie's music. 
That's pretty cool. I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood, but he did an absolutely wonderful job. And here's the list of tracks this time. Versus Mr. Patch. Each of the new tracks has been carefully tailored to match the action taking place on screen. Bruh. Okay. <clears throat> Oi. Alongside the launch of Banjo and Kazooie, that means there a will lot also be a software update. How many buffs and nerfs? What's going on? I just didn't even We're very pleased like with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Give us better online? And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, Better which will pretty much be our final new mode. I'm going to go ahead and play, so Subspace. please take a look. <laughs> what? 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 Subspace? And here it is. Oh. You need to damage the sandbag in front of you as much as possible. It's not even like, oh, that's because he's doing the fire, yeah. And with this bat, oh not with this, God. Okay. but this bat, and off it goes. Hi. It goes Maybe a little too high. Into space. And so, Home Run Contest makes its return. It's been powered up in various ways compared to previous Home Run Contests, so please enjoy. Okay, that's pretty this cool. This time, Sandback has flown 300 kilometers. I think that's about the distance from Tokyo to Nagoya. That's if you drive on the Tome Expressway. <laughs> you can actually play with a second player. Let's give it a go. No, he's gonna try to like attack, attack, keep attacking using both players. He's just spamming A. Time to strike. Here we go. No. This isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together. Okay. And not one he's he's really he's memeing it up. I hope you play this with your friends. Well, that's cool. I mean, it's the final mode. There's going to be some buffs in there, so I'm really interested Many to see. Uploaded their customized knee fighters. They're going to touch hero. They're going to up until now, touch Joker. Head off. Hope not. Since you were not able to um, customize their special buff moves. Robin. But moving forward, you will be able to buff freely Warren. customize their special moves. I would like that. If you find a me fighter that you like, really to look get up, good you can freely download them and set the special moves however you want and play as them. However, this will not be applied to Mii Fighters created before this software update, and only applies to Mii Fighters created after the update. So I, totally I hope you re-upload your Mii Fighters. Miss this? What? Please enjoy many different varieties of Mii Fighters. We will add in some Mii Fighter costumes I just as missed well. whatever he said. Please take a look. Did he say something about, like, something about your custom moves? Are they adding more? Or are you getting them from the other? What? What does he say? I didn't. I was distracted. Chad, someone? Going on. Bruh. Give me a zero outfit. You slut, make it look good. Do it. Okay, sorry. Oh, okay. Like, I hate me fighters, but that makes me so happy. Ah, I'm gonna buy it. Okay. Thank you. I just insult you, and all you do is love me for it. I insult you, and I get what I want. That's attractive. Um. They did it! <laughs> okay, well, sorry, fans. You're never gonna have Sans, but you kinda have Sans. That looks really... Bruh. Are they adding new Mii Fighter moves? Is that what they said? All I do is insult you, Nintendo, and I, like, I call you names, and then you're like, baby, this is what you wanted. Don't be mad. I guess I need to buy it. I'm gonna 
We've added a Buy costume it. for Sans from Undertale, who was a Just popular request. Just because it's zero. And this Sans outfit also comes with a music track. This will be listed in the other category, so you can check it out there. The arrangement was made by none other than the creator of Undertale himself, Toby Fox. He's reading off the... I mean, he should know. Toby has actually visited my house, and we played Super Smash Bros. Ultimate together. That's really cool. He was actually really Like, he shouldn't good. have to know every single thing if he has to read off Of script. all the guests, Bye. he was probably the strongest. Damn, Undertale's repping it. Sans. When we both chose random and played, the win ratio was about half and half. Hmm. Or I may have been losing. <laughs> yeah, he... Good job, Next, Sans. I'd like to talk about a new set of amiibo that will soon be available. Joker. Squirtle. Joker, you... Thought, sl I'm just gonna need to inter Isosaur. I need to call you whatever name I can because then you'll bring it up next. And Snake. Wait, no, Wonder those were already. Hiding. <laughs> Let me that one. They will each be available on September 20th. But the new wave is gonna have Joker. The software update, including the Banjo and Kazooie DLC, will be available today. Is that, is that it? <laughs> Fuck! No! As mentioned in Nintendo Direct, no. Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Who Brothers gives a Ultimate. fuck? Although we showed the reveal trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. Well, it's shaping up nicely. Can you show us anything? You're gonna show us how he always faces the target but like we Ken and Reed? weren't ready to include it in the reveal. Because it's garbage? That's a garbage decision? That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? It was fun. I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage of Terry. Here you go. Jab! Okay, done. Finally. It was announced that we will be working on even more DLC If he fighters. always faces the target, like... To me, Ren it feels like the finish line is sliding farther Ryu away. Ryu and Ken. You may wonder Such a poor how much longer can he be out. involved with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. But I'm also excited. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. Everyone is here. And ultimately, like Xenoblade that means Chronicles that there will 2. be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. Not in a me costume. At the same time, I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game worlds that it's become an enormous game. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. Mm -hmm. So and buy so the I want to keep improving on this record as much as possible. And I will continue to work hard at developing the game. Please add the scene of Blade Chronicles 2. I appreciate 2. your support. Character. That's it for today. Thank you very much. That's it for today, except... Shuts off. Pew! Fifth DLC character question mark exclamation question mark exclamation. No? Okay, fuck. It's done. It's done. That was a wild ride. Um, that was... I might have to put that reaction to Xenoblade on YouTube, dude. Oh my god. Alright. I'm just empty. Like, I'm kind of really disappointed Terry's in. Uh, I mean, I guess it's like the SNK, like, whatever representative, but, like, I'm... They're gonna make him face the target. That's what they're gonna do, just like r fucking Ryu and Ken, and that's such a horrible decision, and, like, I don't know, like, maybe, maybe he'll be good, but...
I'm not excited at all. And I was really hoping for a Xenoblade Chronicles 2 rep. Maybe like Dixie or something too. Like even the new Fire Emblem, like uh, Byleth. Though that's probably going to be, if ever, um, second DLC pack. I'm still holding out hope for Xenoblade Chronicles rep somehow. I really hope it's Mithra or at least Rex plus Pyre slash Mithra. They know that the one's there. That's why they made the me costume at the start, but... Man, it just... Yeah, that's... It hurts that we get a Neo Geo guy and not a... Fuck. Okay, it's fine, though. There's a lot of good today. <laughs> There's a little disappointment. But a lot of good. Um, Banjo looks really interesting. Damn, dude. Just everything. It looks really good. Really interesting. I don't even know, like... What do I... Where do I go, man? Let me check my... There's... I've got so many notifications. Never got retweeted. Feels bad. Okay. I also didn't add them. 